Welcome back. Countries that welcome foreign manpower should try to manage the issue of policies favoring its own citizens. That's because the influx of foreign workers could cause unhappiness among citizens. Senior Minister Go Chok Tong said this at the inaugural Singapore Human Capital Summit today. May Wong reports. There are among us in the office and helping us build new skyscrapers. These foreign employees will grow as Singapore continues to stay open to them. And Singapore is faced with the dilemma of either going for maximum growth or accepting slower growth by reducing the number of foreign workers. If the government goes for growth, Singaporeans have to accept the increasing social costs of a growing foreign population in their midst. Regardless of how this dilemma is resolved, our public policies must continue to make Singaporeans feel that it is worthwhile to be Singaporeans. Examples include how only Singaporeans get significant subsidies for health care and public housing. On retaining and developing talent, Mr Goh said Singapore has several strategies. Invest heavily in educating the population, making Singapore an attractive global city to live and work in, and build the country to be a leader in manpower practices and capabilities. The real test of our manpower strategy is whether our young people are able to succeed in the global workforce and in a global workplace, not just in Singapore. Mr Goh said today's financial turmoil makes it even more critical to reflect on the importance of manpower and talent to help boost economic growth. And it also highlights the urgency on how to attract good talents into government and the public service. The Land Transport Authority has 